Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Sheldon and this is Behind the Enthusiast. Today is the day. We made it, the car is ready. We are going to Humberstone Speedway for Eve of Destruction. Now this is going to be my first and last event ever there for this type of racing anyway, dirt track racing. Normally I'm there for two wheeled racing, a flat track racing, but today we're riding another two. We're gonna be doing this on four wheels First time ever, I I am Scandinavian, I have Swedish blood in me, and I have basically been dreaming of being a rally car driver for a very long time, and this is the cheapest form of racing that I'm aware of anyway to do on dirt. And so hopefully things go well today. Uh, we spent the past two nights very late. I think I was up until three in the morning last night trying to make this thing happen, trying to get everything together, truck, trailer, car, everything, so much work involved. Um, my buddies and my dad, we all came together and made this happen. So today hopefully will go really, really well because there are five events that I am participating in. I have to, well, load up the truck, get the, tra the, the trailer loaded with the car, and hopefully I don't forget anything, but uh, knowing my luck, there's probably gonna be at least one thing that I forget because this is my first time doing this, and uh, maybe I will learn to make a list for next time that I do this type of racing, but Definitely got to get going. We have five events. I got to get there. I got to go and get registered, everything. Actually, I don't even have numbers on the car right now. So I have to do that. I have to scramble and slap that together as well. So uh, let's get into it. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, we are lining up right now. I end up drawing 46th place out of like 175 cars, which is pretty crazy. I don't know how well I'm gonna do, but I'm out here just having fun. As you guys can see here, we're lining up. And um, yeah, this should be one heck of a race. This is my first race in a car ever. Uh, I've got four uh, events to do. This is the first one. This is the biggest and longest one. So we'll see if the car holds up for the rest of them. And hopefully you guys get some in-car uh, footage during the race.
that was one hell of a hit. Somebody spun me around, and then uh, I got smoked, and uh, my finger hurts right now. So I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. I can I can move it, but I think I sprained my finger right now. We're on a red again. Car was smoking, so I don't know how much longer she's gonna last, but hopefully I can just baby her till the end and at least finish the race.
Well guys, that was crazy. I have uh, I have a bunch of footage to go through on the GoPro. Hopefully that turned out well for you guys. But the car definitely didn't let me down and I kept my promise not to destroy her and, or put her through the derby. So I did all four races that I plan on doing. So I did the, the big one and then uh, I did the Red Rover, which that one didn't go very well um, uh, either. <laughs> so two really bad ones. And then uh, I said, you know what, I need a win. So I did the flagpole race and that went actually pretty well, um, all things considered. I ended up, uh, yeah, I didn't get last. There's some crazy carnage in that one. Um, let's see. Then there was, oh, the backwards race. The backwards race, I really enjoyed that one. That was the other one. So the backwards race, that one I finished, didn't get last. The backwards race was sick. A little bit of a sore neck right now, but that one was totally worth it. Uh, that one was actually before that race. And then the last one was the Enduro Cross. However, the engine temperature light came on. And so I did like a pace lap and a full complete lap. And then someone smoked the tire that we had to go around and almost went in the ditch or went in the ditch. So, and then the light came on. I'm like, mm, you know what? Time to go. So. I'll show you guys what's left of the car. Um, she still, still runs, so I'm gonna try to get her on the trailer now. And then uh, this vlog will probably be all over the place, just so random with the, the the building aspect of it. And then the race day, I might just put it all in one. I haven't decided yet, but it's a little bit chilly now. The sun is hiding behind the clouds. So um, injuries, yeah, I've got some injuries. I think I banged my knee off something as well, so I got a weird bump on my knee. My left, uh, I don't know, my left hand, something's wrong with it as well. And my right hand, it actually is starting to feel a little bit better. So the cold weather might actually be helping with the swelling going down. But I'm pretty sure I've sprained it. I don't think it's broken. I should, even though I'm stubborn, should probably go and get x-rays. So now it's time to pack up. So I'm gonna go and uh, load the car on, and then uh, hopefully, hopefully I can do a, a, a nice closing for this video of the uh, arrival back home.
All right, so the day after the, the race, the absolute carnage that uh, transpired. You guys can see, I'm pretty sure the wheels, uh, I mean, I might have the wheel turned right now, but the wheel is definitely cambered in. It might actually be turned to the left slightly. Um, I still have one hood latch holding it on. Um, battery barely safe there. The rad, I don't know, it's probably empty by now, but she held up pretty well, all things considered. So Toyota, shout out to you guys for making a, an amazing 2004 Toyota Echo. Definitely surprised me quite a bit. But this thing, these are the spare wheels that are on it right now, the front ones anyway. We started off with the black winters and these are the silver all seasons, which <laughs> I think they were brand new. Um, as you guys can see here, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell how deep that is. Yeah, that is right in. That's like a good four inches, maybe even more, into my driver's door. And as you guys can see, I did put uh, the door card in as recommended in the rules, leaving the door card in. So that probably saved me from seeing something flying through there. A nice hole there. Door's absolutely mangled. Door. So the door handles are still intact. No, no damage whatsoever to where the uh, the gas filler is. However, we're gonna get over here so you guys can kind of see here. So the wheel. Yeah, it's definitely towed outward because somebody decided to smash me in the rear end here on the left rear absolutely destroyed my rear end here well it actually doesn't look too bad all things considered to be completely honest but it was enough to uh bend a few things and then um i can't really show you guys any more than this but the exhaust is not supposed to hang that low it's supposed to be up uh i don't know a good six inches more maybe it's actually resting on the uh, subframe there you go see resting on the subframe so something let go on that ran out of time to put the numbers on the rest of the car uh, the right rear I would say is probably the only tire that didn't get mangled oddly enough but is what it is I don't know what happened there somebody got me pretty good the right the right rear door is actually probably like the best door on the car and uh, this spot is really bad I had some issues with my uh, vinyl cutter as well so the sticker is not the greatest Humberstone so uh, but it is what it is and it worked I used a Sharpie to draw my number on quickly before the race. So 520 is my flat track number, and now it is my race number. But I had to put an X because someone else was already using it. So 520X is what I ran. Yeah, I don't know. Like, There's like fibers in here. That looks pretty gnarly. This wheel, I'm trying to change this out, or my dad is anyway. I'll give you guys an update on my condition uh, as to why I'm not doing anything on the car right now. Uh, a little bit later, but yeah. Uh, folded up quite badly. Um, hole. So three of the wheels are like that, so we're trying to put the uh, donut on. And then you guys can kind of see here something was rubbing. I'm not entirely sure. We'll hopefully see that when we take this wheel off and then the drive axle was rubbing on the sway bar and the belt like this pulley was <laughs> fully exposed that's the frame coming out the front that's pretty folded not entirely sure how the bumper and the actual bumper beam that's supposed to support and protect everything i don't know how that 
came off. Um, there was numerous front end collisions, but gradually pieces fell off and I just obviously didn't notice. And all things considered though, I think the oil pan, oil filter is all unscathed and the rad, like I said, it was, it was dripping up pretty bad. So, and uh, yeah, a little close up look here. Battery definitely got away unscathed, thankfully. And uh, yeah, there's a, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it in there or not. Tie rod. Yeah, you probably, you probably can't tell, but it's bent pretty bad. Yeah, there you go. You can see it's kind of bent downward, so that tie rod's definitely a uh, foobard. And the hood, I'm gonna leave the, the hood closed. There's not a whole lot else to really see on the car, but that is pretty much uh, the gist of it. Well guys, I guess now is as good a time as any to uh, explain to you what happened. And that behind me is just a final angle, I suppose, of what is left. I, I will obviously have included a walk around of what's left of the car. And uh, no, I am not armless. However, uh, I broke my hand, and uh, at the time of recording this video, this should be the tail end of the vlog for racing, I have not seen the specialist yet. Um, yeah, there's uh, a proper cast that needs to be put on, and based on who I'm going to see, I've been told that it might mean that I need surgery, but overall, um, you know, the, the day went pretty well, so it, it's kind of funny how I don't remember everything that happened. Somebody asked me if I had a concussion, I'm pretty sure I didn't, I'm pretty sure I don't have one, because the time that I did have a concussion, I was seeing stars, didn't see any stars, so... When I was watching the footage back from the GoPro, I noticed... So, here's the thing. So I ended up getting taken out. My buddy Tony was behind me. He saw the whole thing. Basically, he said that I was drag racing a guy. There was a guy to my inside. And I was maybe half a car length in front of him. Maybe. And the guy on my right decided to just steamroll me and spun me around into traffic facing the wrong way. The steering wheel snapped around, I'm assuming, and that's what caught my hand or my fingers, broke uh, my right hand, and I don't know if it was in that crash or another one, because I did have three. I think I had three in total, 
So the, the major one, and then two other minor ones. And so my left hand, which is holding the camera now, barely, is pretty badly sprained. It is slightly swollen. It's a lot of redness. I did ice it a little bit, but the redness, uh, pretty sure that was not from me putting ice on it. So a little bit discolored. Um, actually, it's not from the ice because my dad pointed it out to me before I was even icing it. So um, this is, at the time of recording, this is two days after the race. All my injuries are coming to the surface. Very sore neck. Um, I'm barely moving right now. Very sore neck, bruising on my left shoulder from the seatbelt, sore across my chest where the seatbelt would have been, and my back, surprisingly, I don't know how this is possible, but my back seems fine, um, my lower extremities all seem fine, my knee might have gotten a little bump on it, but it's not bugging me. Um, so basically everything is upper body, all upper body injuries. And uh, a lot of a lot of um, fun was had, despite the not so good outcome. So basically, I'll just walk you guys through how the day went. So we did the seventy-five lap enduro. I think I made it to twelve or fifteen laps, maybe. Tony said he made it seventeen, and I got taken out just before him. So anywhere from twelve to fifteen laps. I think I was racing for about 15 to 20 minutes, so sounds about right. Uh, keeping in mind there was uh, a red flag. The first red flag, people weren't really prepared for it, so I ended up being in a sandwich, rear-ending rear someone and getting hit in the rear by someone. And the guy next to me, I was actually leaning over to him because he waved at me and, and, and he yelled out, uh, is my tire flat? And his tire was actually... Um, pretty much completely off the rim. And before I could even answer him, which was within like five, 10 seconds, someone who didn't see the red, even after after me, uh, completely freight trained his rear end. That was uh, very surprising uh, to see. So um, definitely uh, eye-opening experience there with uh, keeping an eye out for safety. And I mean, they, they did in driver's meetings say, you know, like when you come to a stop on a red, brace for impact in case someone, you know, behind you isn't able to slow down in time. Cause you know, you're racing on, on dirt, right? And you know, they water the tracks. So it was very slippery in some sections. So, you know, they're all the safety precautions are there. You know, you wear the right gear. Even if, even if you do wear the right gear, you can still end up with a sore neck uh, or, or injuries for that matter. So, great event overall, um, and, you know, safety is number one, but you can only be so safe, um, you know, and it's just, you know, people who race competitively, you know, professionals, they get injured and, and worse, you know, with, you know, million dollar race cars, so I think I'm doing all right, so that enduro... I got taken out, I was able to get out of the spot, I basically reversed the turn two, I got taken out in turn, going into turn one, so I was stuck in between turns one and two, reversed uh, through the corner to get myself out of danger, spun the car around on the infield, waited for a gap, got back on safely, however according to the footage from my GoPro, I got tagged somewhere. I, don't really remember that to be completely honest that's why people were asking if I had a concussion I don't remember that one and so I ended up slowly getting off the track I was very very cautious limping the car around basically just inching inching I think it took me an entire lap to get off but once I was off assessed the damage of the car Andrew was there helped uh bang it out a little bit put new my backup tires on, so new slash fresh tires, uh, rims, um, on the car, so it was drivable, the rad was busted, so I had to top that up, I think I put about two to two and a half liters of water in it, maybe, I could be off on that number, but I put water in the rad, um, just before every race, and so she didn't overheat at all, 
uh, until the very end of the day, the light, the dummy light came on for the engine temperature. And so I pulled off and didn't cook the motor. The motor still runs. Um, she was lumpy because uh, I think a vacuum line was off. So I've put the vacuum line back on. Runs amazing now, which is awesome. But yeah, the, the front of the car is pretty foobard. So it's not like she's really going to see another derby. Uh, enduro race rather um, derby would be probably the demolition derby would be the only thing she could go in now I, I think but she wouldn't last very long um, but yeah Lola did pretty well the uh, small car that could actually it was such a great experience the car was on rails through turns one uh three and four i guess turn two was quite slippery but outside of that you just had to like stay to the inside and maybe not accelerate as hard i drifted <laughs> turn two pretty pretty wide but i held on to it didn't spin out so that was really good uh, i've got a lot of experience with uh driving a subaru and going sideways so i definitely have the skills to be competitive i was passing quite a few people uh, I, I watched the footage myself, and I passed. I probably I probably passed a good 20 cars, maybe even more. So I was probably headed for top 15, top 20 at least. Uh, and my buddy Tony was making really good progress as well in his Corolla. So we were both having a really good time until I got taken out, and then he got taken out like three or five laps later. And uh, so that was really unfortunate, but we both had a great time. I thankfully was able to get my car back out to complete the rest of the events so uh let's see so i was uh finished the enduro well i didn't finish the enduro but after what laps i could do in the enduro left uh you know limping the car put her back together red rover red rover i got taken out again that's the one that was pretty bad so that was uh the second one and that screwed up another tire so i basically had a yeah i think it screwed up the tire then so i think i was running a flat tire for basically the rest of the events um and then we had the backwards race which I, honestly that was my favorite event backwards race uh, a lot of people were even commenting like dude you were killing it and i was like yeah i know so that one went really well i did get tagged somebody had a really hard hit in that race um i think it was at the start but i restarted I think there was about eight of us, and I probably finished the uh, top four, top five, maybe. Um, there was a few guys that I was flying by, somebody else that I barely got by, I think, as well. So that was an awesome race. Then we did the flagpole race, which is you go around the tire. Uh, I didn't get footage of any of these, unfortunately, so that's why I'm talking about them right now. That one was absolute carnage. I got absolutely destroyed in my driver's door I, I got a really nice hit i turned away from that thankfully to avoid any more injuries but the car held up that's why you put the door cards in you leave them in if you don't have a roll cage so um definitely uh helped mitigate any more damage to me um but there was some strategy there so but i finished the race so that was great so i really enjoyed that one just got to be very careful that was there was, there was a point where we were trying to go around the tire and there was five cars around me and I literally couldn't go anywhere. So I just sat there because I got the smallest car probably on the track and I was already in, you know, a bunch of different pieces. So, um, yeah, I managed to survive that one and finish the race. Took, you know, came across the line with checker flag uh, for two races. So I was, you know, I got two solid races in going in reverse and uh a little bit of a mayhem with the uh loop around the tire at the start finish line and uh the last one was the enduro cross i think i did five events so enduro red rover backwards race that's three yeah, Enduro, so five, right? Enduro, the big Enduro. Uh, backwards race, or no, Red Rover. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm screwing this up now. So the big Enduro, the Red Rover, 
which had I not get had I not gotten taken out, um, I would have continued because I wasn't last in that because it was a, an elimination race. Basically, the slowest person gets eliminated every round. So that was second, and then the third event was, or no, second, yeah, second race was Red Rover. Third was a backwards race, had a really great time. Fourth was the flagpole one, had really good time in that one as well. So that was number four, one, two, three, four. And then f the fifth race was the Enduro Cross, which they put a tire on a downward slope, which was really difficult to see. And it was starting to get a little bit dusty. The sun was in a the worst angle possible in the sky so that was really blinding and as I came over yeah as I came over the berm to go around that tire to go po uh, across the uh, start finish line for what was my official first lap starting from second the check engine light came on uh for the or the heat the uh engine temperature light came on and so yeah I just kind of called it a day there you know i i swore that i wouldn't destroy the car completely you know i wouldn't blow it up and i had an interesting time loading it on the trailer somebody actually had to ultimately push us up onto the trailer because the car had a flat tire and everything and it just it was getting hung up on the uh trailer so it wasn't going but all in all really great day despite the break of my hand and spraining my left hand which is really really holding on to the phone right now so uh i i, I gotta end this because i'm at about 14 minutes just talking to you guys but yeah a lot of a lot of information you know a lot of things i learned from this event and i'll be back you know eva destruction even though humberstone is closed uh they're moving the event to Merrittville, and they're going to move the uh, wreck fest up to the beginning of the summer so even destruction will be at the end of the year so I have one full year to prep for next season I might drive another one of these 2004 Toyota Echo absolutely amazing car love it if you guys are thinking about doing it on a budget this is definitely a car to consider using just uh, mind the front end the front end if you take too much damage you'll not have a fun day the rear end use it and abuse it if someone's going to rear end you don't worry about it the rear end can probably take it because i don't think i got hit in the rear enough uh when the guy spun me around i don't even think he did any damage because the damage that is there i think was when i got rear ended in the flagpole race where you circle around the tire and i got airborne because i started to drive up somebody else's car because the tire is fully exposed so easier to drive up on somebody so that was a little bit of a wild ride but uh it wasn't really that hard of a hit i mean the wheel is towed out in the left rear uh you guys will have seen that in the walk around but yeah learned a lot had a lot of fun i'll definitely be back uh tony my buddy he's going to be back out as well i think uh well i'm i'm assuming here his buddy will also be back out uh, a buddy of mine, Kyle, who helped build the car, he has a car already lined up for next year as well. So I'm going to be on the hunt for another one. I don't know what I'm going to do with Lola just yet. I haven't really decided uh, 100%. And we'll just kind of see, you know, whether I run another one of these, you know, a small compact car or I get something different. But I have a full year to prep, strategize, everything else. Um, I've already got race gear, so I don't have to worry about buying that again. And, um, yeah, I might even get my brother to come out as well, but it's a lot of work. So we've got a whole year to kind of plan things out and see what happens. So, yeah, this was, uh, kind of surprising, but at the same time, actually surprised me that she did as well as she did and i'm so happy with the way i did not give up after that crash in the first race and kept the day going because had i thrown in the towel i would have missed out on four other amazing races especially the backwards race and the flagpole race those those two races were awesome i really enjoyed those so anyway um i can't do my usual outro so 
Uh, I can't show you guys a thumbs up right now, but if you guys could smash that like button so I know that it's working, leave any comments, questions down below for me. And of course, be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on future content on the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.